I mean, do you, as a personal question, do you think this was your worst job? Uh, in terms of your actual satisfaction in it? No, I mean, I I had a job before I worked for the company that, uh, the grocery company that fired me, that I called GDA in this book and a couple of other, in some of the plays. Uh, that was a job uh, where, uh, basically I remember they gave a class to people to learn how to lie better to customers, you know? You know, uh, what, you know, uh, we're going to teach you how to avoid answering a question that a customer asks you. I'd say, so, wait a minute, this is a course on how to lie? No, 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 it's not about lying. It's just about not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I didn't like that job. There were other jobs that I've had. Uh, this was a job, like many jobs, that could have been a good place to work. I mean, here in America, I don't know if it's the same in Canada, we... Uh, school districts can opt out of paying into social security. So, mm. uh, so, but they have to put you into like the teacher's pension plan for the state of Texas. So when I left there, I, I, I was able to get that money out. But so I had 18 months, uh, 19 months, 18 and a half months, whatever it was, where I wasn't putting into social security, which was another reason to leave that job. This job I'm working at the supermarket is a regular job. And so I'm putting back into Social Security and uh, also into the 401k plan there. And it's it's very tiring. I mean, I I work nine and a half hours today and, uh, and I'm 53 years old. But I mean, I'm in I'm probably stronger maybe five or six years ago when I was working at the other supermarket. I was a little bit stronger. I was doing physical work there. But by the same token, uh, I'm in better shape than most 53 year olds. I could probably kick the ass of most 53 year olds. And it's, what's interesting is I was thinking, uh, and I don't think it's mentioned in the book, but uh, I know I have maybe touched upon in some of the plays in that uh, there was a, a girl years ago who I'm, I'm still friends with even on Facebook. Uh, and she's a nice person and whatnot. Uh, and when we were teenagers, she rejected me because she didn't think I was physically attractive enough for her. But now, I mean, she's built like a beach ball and she, she you know, she's, she's round and whatnot. And while I'm not Brad Pitt or anything, you know, I can, st I still have strong pecs. I can flex my pecs. You know, I can go up and down like a, like a, a rumbo or something. And, uh, you know, I can do 10, 15 pull-ups. Uh, and even though I've got back issues and whatnot here and there. And today I was just going, before we talked, I, I'm trying to get a, uh, buy some new sneakers, some sketches that are slip resistant. I, I need to get certain types of shoes so that I don't have pain in my feet. But despite all of that, um, you know, it, it would be funny because if, if you told someone today that these two people, that one of them rejected the other, they would probably think that I was the one that rejected her because while I'm not Brad Pitt, I'm probably okay looking or and uh, in, in better shape uh, and quote unquote sexier to most to most fifty year old females than she would be to most fifty year old males. Uh, but it, it, it's interesting how people change over time, and actually, actually uh, that's a, a side issue that I'm working on in the play I'm doing right now. But again, this this book is uh, is just a really you know, I think I said with the Vincetti brothers, the, one of the key scenes that opens the Vincetti brothers is the description of Gino Vincetti and how ugly he is and how people, it's like, that should be a black and white pan straight into his face if anyone makes a film of it. Uh, uh, and it's, an, it's just a staring straight at this ugly individual who's ugly on the outside and ugly on the inside. And that's what this is a look at this job. This job is, in a sense, sort of a Gino Vincetti job.